What's up? I guess we are on number six, lesson number six, beginner video. Last time we were doing some uh, the number system in the key of C. And um, just to really recap, I don't want to. I'm not going to do this every lesson because I'm going to forget what the heck we did. Well, not really. I, it's kind of a system I have, but <clears throat> key of C, key of G scales. We got the caged chords, the the three basic minor shapes, the E A and D minor. Got your digital patterns. Last time we went over the number system in the key of C. So if you don't know that, go back to lesson five. Uh, today we're going to do the same thing. We're going to add the four note chords. Um, when I was going over that number system, I was saying you take the C scale, you start on each note of the scale, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and you take the first, third, and fifth, and you get a chord. Then you start on the D with that same scale. Take the first, third, and fifth of that, you get the D minor chord. Then you start on E, first, third, and fifth, you get the E minor, F, you get the first, third, and fifth, F major, then G major, then A minor, then B diminished, which I told you to avoid. This one I'm not going to tell you to avoid. We're going to do the four note chords. Instead of taking just the one, three, and five, we are going to take the one, three, five, and seven, and we're going to get the jazzy sounding chords now. Um, so for the C, well, I'm just going to rip right through them. So for this, this is your, let me, let me sit in a more appropriate manner. So hopefully you can see my fingers. Uh, this is your C chord. Get rid of the index finger. That's your C major seven. What we're doing is we're adding a B to that chord. It used to be C, E, G. Now it's C, E, G, B. You can repeat any notes you want, but the notes of the chord are C, E, G, B. D minor was here. So it's going to be a little tricky. This is going to be similar to that new F chord we did the last lesson. So instead of the open fourth, second fret on the third string, then you got the D, a second string, third fret, first string, first fret, we're going to get two with the index finger. We're going to get rid of that D note we had, and we're going to end up with this. We're going to end up with the shape of the chord. It's going to be open, two, one, one. The notes are D, A, C, F. That's a tricky one because you're getting two with this finger again, just like we were doing with the F chord. So this is D minor. This is D minor seven. We're just simply adding a C note to the chord. Before, we had two Ds. All right, next is E minor seven. This one's easy. Take your E minor chord, get rid of the ring finger. We're gonna play the fourth string open. So the shape of the E minor chord before was all six strings open, two, two, open, open, open. The notes were E, B, E, G, B, E. Now we're going to add that open fourth string. So it's only one finger now. Fifth string, second fret. That's your E minor seven. F major seven, you're going to thank me for this one. The F chord was this. Top four strings. Three, two, one, one. Two with that finger, right? Now we're going to play the first string open. Adding an E to that chord. That makes it the major seven. G, you had had this before, right? All six strings. We're gonna have to rework our fingering for this. It's gonna be the same exact chord it was, but instead of that third fret on the first string, we're gonna play it on the first fret. Unfortunately, this chair is rolling me around my garage. We're gonna be on the first fret now. So in in these, if I was gonna play those. In sequence, G to G7, I would play the G like this with my pinky and then the index finger. I wouldn't go like this. Too much work. So the shape of this chord, this is all six strings starting from the bottom. Three, two, open, 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 one. G, B, D, G, B, F. So we added an F to this chord to make it a seven. Um, now we'll go to the A minor. Right. Now we're going to get rid of the ring finger. We're going to play open uh, third string. So we're adding a G to this chord. Very similar to the C chord now. 
In other words, if you take a C major chord and get rid of the ring finger and play the fifth string open, that's another way to look at the A minor seven. So A minor seven here, get rid of the, I mean, A minor is here, get rid of the ring finger, play the open third string, now you have A minor seven. The last chord is the B diminished I told you to sort of just kind of forget, don't mess with it. This chord, your the average person isn't going to use it much, but in blues, jazz, funk, it's rampant. Latin music gets big, so I would recommend learning this one. It's very, it's a very tricky fingering. We're, we're getting kind of heavy now, so middle four strings only. The two E's are out, and the shape from the bottom up is going to be two three two three. So you're going to do index finger on the on the on the B, uh, fifth string, second fret, then your ring finger, fourth string, third fret, middle finger, third string, second fret, and your pinky on the second string, third fret. This is a very tricky fingering, so middle four strings, two, three, two, three. The good news is you kind of can't finger this wrong. It looks kind of pretzely and weird, but I don't know how you would, you, you can't really get it wrong. You know what I mean? You, if you put your second finger down there, you can't get your other fingers in place, so it's just like this. Now this one I would spend some time on, because it's, it's a great exercise. I would take my fingers off it and put it back. Just get used to that. You're going to forget it. You're going to forget it like a million times before you remember it. Two, three, two, three. It is a weird chord. That chord is usually followed by an E7. No, I'm not getting into it. All right. So you've got your seven seventh chords, your four note chords. These are your jazzy chords. Not only jazzy, but um, if we take, let's take that one six two five we did the last lesson, and we're going to use these new chords. You can you can apply this to all the other chord progressions. Now, the, some of them are going to sound a little strange with these chords, like the one five six four. I mean, they'll still sound fine, but sometimes it's just more appropriate to play those triads. You know, if you're playing a Peter, Paul, and Mary song or a Bob Dylan song, most of those are going to be triads, like Knocking on Heaven's Door, stuff like that. Um, most pop songs are going to be popular stuff. Uh, it's going to be very triad heavy. Um, so let's go with the 1625 with these new chords. So the one, six, two, five, first of all, let's get the triads out of the way. We did this before. It's going to be C. C major is the one. Six is A minor. The two is D minor. The five is G major. Now that we add those sevenths, it's going to be C major seven, A minor seven, D minor seven, G seven. That's the one, six, two, five in the key of C. So we're going to use these new seventh chords. We have C major seven to A minor seven, D minor seven. G7. You can do that two beats each. Oops. One, two, three, four. A minor seven. D minor seven is the two. Then that G7. Um, if these sound a little strange, it's, it's again because they're more colorful, they're more jazzy. Now, one way you can look at one benefit to these is there's a lot of ways to get more mileage out of a chord. Most of these, with the exception of like the B minor seven flat five, which is a very strange chord, and um, you know we can kind of skip that for now. It won't come in. It won't be useful for a little while. Um, like the C chord, you're gonna if you remember that C major scale we did. Which I hope you do. You'll see, you can get a lot of mileage out of each of these chords by adding and taking away notes. You can add, take away fingers and do open strings. You can add like your pinky sometimes, like to that C. All we did is take the C, and we got rid of the first finger, we got a C major seven. If we add the pinky on the third, the third fret of the second string, we got like a C add nine. That's how you get that kind of Do the same thing on the A minor. You got the 
first string, first fret. We do it open at that B. Don't worry about this stuff. Um, but you can add the pinky on the third fret, just like we did for the C. And then back to that first fret to the straight A minor. Any one of these chords, you play the F, right? Do the first string open, now it's the F major 7 we just learned. You can add that pinky on G, first string, third fret. Then back to the straight F. So you're gonna, you're gonna start, if you can see the scale and the chord together, so for, some, for example, when I see this G chord, I can do the G7, which we just learned, right? I can play that first string open. That's gonna be a G6. notes in the scale that we did are lying there around in and around these chords so you, you can get if you start experimenting with that it'll you'll know the guitar a lot better so any one of these chords um, a minor C, G, F, B minor seven flat five E minor. Back to the A minor. So I would start, just run through these chords. You can go one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. These new ones, these seventh chords. C major seven, D minor seven, E minor seven, F major seven, G seven, A minor seven, B minor seven flat five. Again, just the middle four strings on that one. And back to the top. And you're going to be ready to do some very, very cool stuff. Um, and, and I would go as far as saying most guitar players don't even know those. So, you know, after, what is this, six, lesson six? Um, like I mentioned before, your, your playing is probably still pretty, pretty weak, I would imagine. I haven't been doing this for very long, I'm assuming. But you're, you're going to have a killer uh, foundation. That's gonna make everything else easier. And uh, regarding things to come, we're gonna get into strumming. So get used to switching those chords. That's the most important thing you'll ever do on the instrument. I don't care if you play another 50 years, another 100 years, the most important you can do, the important thing you'll ever do on this instrument is being able to switch from chord to chord in time with, with good rhythm. Um, so, so a couple of things we're going to get into next in the upcoming lessons are going to be strumming. Um, we're going to get into more like riff-oriented things. What I mean by riff is stuff like uh, like a lot of rock tune, like power chords and like... Um, God, there's so many. Like, walk this way. <laughs> Those are just rock things, you know. They're, they're not chords, you know. They're just like I started that stuff with Kiss, you know. So we're gonna get into some stuff like that, you know. They're just there. There's no other word for it, like riffs, rhythms, just rock stuff, blues stuff, and of course, um, chord stuff with single notes um, mixed in, you know. <laughs> stuff like that, or... Or uh, like Pink Floyd. stuff with single notes in there that's gonna be very important and what I was playing earlier was a Kansas tune right dust in the wind
fun stuff. Fun, fun. We're gonna get into slash chords. That's this type of stuff. When you hear a bass note going down, like a uh, whiter shade of pale, uh, there's tons. I mean, Stairway to Heaven even. That's got that. Um, time in a Bottle. played that right. Slash chords are a lot of fun. So so we're going to be getting into crazy awesome stuff very, very soon. So really uh, get cracking on switching those chords. That's number one. I don't care how fast you play the scale or you just got to get ready to switch those chords. C, the G. Um, but, you know, before I was talking about the G, the D. You know, I think we did Tennessee Whiskey, I believe, a few lessons ago. What I might do is I might just do a lesson, I might just kind of throw together like 10 songs, there's thousands, thousands of songs you can already play with just those chords we've done. As a matter of fact, you can play almost every pop song ever written, I'm sure. So, so yeah, get those, those major seven chords, they're not going to be too important right now, but the, the concept of switching those notes, getting more, you know, having one chord, adding a finger, taking a finger away, and, and getting more mileage out of it. That's going to be big. Because you'll see whenever someone plays a D chord, they're always doing this stuff. Um, they're always doing this. It's just common stuff, so... You will be poised to learn songs much more quickly and easily, um, having this stuff at your fingertips. So yeah, next time, uh, I'll figure out exactly what I want to do. Um, maybe not so much, well, maybe we'll do some simple riff type things. I gotta, I gotta figure out what songs I learned first, you know, because I, I kind of had a cool little tra trajectory the way I, I went about learning my stuff. It just, I was very lucky that I was listening to stuff, pretty simple music like Kiss and simple classic rock stuff and it kind of snowballed. The better I got, the more difficult um, the music I listened to got. So it was, it was nice. It was always like a few steps ahead. So I was never like crazy overwhelmed. Um, but I kept learning simply by learning new songs and, and kind of analyzing what, what was going on. So that's hopefully what you're going to be doing. Now, one last thing is that I'm just kind of, these things are kind of here to show you stuff and guide you along, but most of the work is still on you. Like, if you only do the stuff that I do in these lessons, you'll only be able to do the stuff I did in these lessons. Like, you got to go out and try to learn songs. Don't, if you can stay away from tab and the internet, I mean, it's one thing to listen to the song. Uh, you want to learn it by ear, you know. You don't want to be spending too much time on tab because then you're just looking at numbers it's not a very musical endeavor at that point. So, yeah, get those chords, switching those chords. And definitely working on that F. That F is going to become increasingly important. And eventually that F, that tricky F, is going to turn into this big, big, big F. Which is all six strings, which is a lot harder. So, get to work switching those chords.